Hi, so please introduce yourself. My name is Wen Ku from the CCS Aeon. And uh, what is the status for 5G in China? It's uh, significant. And uh, from the ne networker point of view, it's about uh, 2.3, 2.4 million base station. And also it's uh, 600 million. Uh, over 600 million subscribers. 600 million users of uh, 5G? Users, uh, subscribers. Subscribers who Sub can have 5G support? For, 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 all together is uh, about uh, 16 million means uh, uh, one, 1 billion. 1 billion? 1 billion altogether. Yeah. And uh, among them, uh, about uh, one, over one third. It's a 5G customer. So it's the biggest 5G market in the world. And not only for that, but also to use new technology, to use a standalone uh, network uh, structure. And uh, meantime, uh, the outside of China, majority, a lot of company, mobile company uses the NSA, non-standalone com the network. So, and also the bandwidth is a significant, which cable, uh, guarantee the data through uh, data beat, data peak is up 100 for each carrier. Uh, how did the China get to this level? Was it a political decision or the market? Everybody say we want, we want, and it just happened. Market plus engineer. Engineer. Market plus engineer. So. Uh, not political, it's, it's really hard, technical. Technical, so it's the hard work. It's the hard work and the, the everything think uh, from the uh, reality. And many years to set it up, right? Not uh, step by step. Step by step. Step by step. And uh, now every month, so many new base stations and smaller base stations. Yeah, small uh, base stations uh, uh, for the, uh, to keep the uh, coverage. Uh, more reliable, and uh, every corner would like uh, we all have the signal for the 5G. Each base station needs to be lower power, lower power consumption. Yeah, you talk sure, about sure, green. Yeah. You want to be green. yeah, low power and uh, depend on the uh, traffic, uh, depend on the time, and uh, that the green is very important. And I believe the new base station uh, put the green. Is more consideration than the before. And, and uh, is is there like a, for many many years there were so many ideas for IoT for many different things, but now with 5G it's become reality, right? Yeah, many for, of these ideas yeah, can do now. Yeah, the, for the 5G for the mobile the IoT is very important, and uh, that is practice not only uh, before the 5G and in the 4G period. Uh, we use the CAT1 and we use the MBIoT to deep, and also we use the older technology GSM and CDMA uh, SIM card to provide the MBI, uh, to provide the mobile IoT service. For example, when I'm here, there's so many people here with a mobile phone and I want to do live streaming. Sometimes I'm worried, is it going to work? It's not going to work. But, but with yeah. 5G is like if you go to a football stadium as uh, 50,000 people, is there a solution to everybody uh, can connect? I, I'm not quite sure. And if everybody uses the in the stadium to uh, upload the, the things, that's the problem. Uh, that is the problem. But that is the problem. It's a it's a task for the future. 5.5G already solved. 5G, 5.5G, and also 6G. 6G. And also millimeter wave band and uh, the new technology we are introduced to solve the problem. What is the plan for 6G? For the plan for 6G, I think it is not the plan. It depends on the technology. If the technology is uh, available, that is uh, will be uh, begun. But now, I would like to say, 6G we started now, and uh, step by step, like the 5G. We started 5G 10 years ago. And the development of 5G in China and the experience in China, it enables China to work with all the other countries to deploy 5G everywhere in the world. 
it's I like don't, um, I don't understand you. Uh, but, uh, for example, Huawei gets so much experience in China, they can sell this to every country. Uh, yeah, and uh, the same solution. The same solution. I would yeah. like to say we can, we would like to develop the new technology and uh, with uh, our uh, customer and also with the, the experience that they achieved. They can provide this achievement, the experience to uh, let the other country enjoy the new technology to improve their life of the people, to improve the productivity of the industry. So everything you learn, you share? Uh, we learn, we practice, we and share. You share. But uh, there's always this question of the licensing and the and the patent and this company something. But uh, the idea is to share and enable more because technology makes the world a better place. Yeah, yeah. I think the patents is a is a way to protect to protect the innovation, and that is the international practice. And uh, not only in uh, that is not new for China. I think the twenty years ago. Uh, it's a, uh, it's a quite a workable for the other countries uh, for protection the uh, innovation. Because uh, s sorry, one last question, right? Please. Uh, because there's so many problems in the world, and I think technology is the solution, right? Yeah. For many many problems can solve with technology, and doing 5G correctly is one way. Uh, the world, the society, the world is going forward, and the technology is. Uh, empower to make the society, make the world go forward efficiently. And uh, that is a very good way to use the new technology, information technology. 5G is one of the information technology. And uh, that is connect the people, connect to the world, connect to the property.